Hey loves, so today we're gonna do my September favorites, but I do have a few new things or revisited things that I have really been loving over the last month. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. All right, so the first thing, you guys have probably seen this in a couple videos. Oh, there's one crazy long hair in it. <laughs> this is one of the oval precision brushes from Makeup Revolution. This is the smaller of the two um, oval face brushes. I don't remember exactly what this one's called, but I'll try and figure it out. It's a smaller of the ones that look just like this, if that helps. I have been using it more and more, and I do really like it to apply foundation. So far, this is my favorite brush from the entire line. If you guys want to hear more of my thoughts, see me use a bunch of them, um, I'll try and link that video down below. At the very least, it'll be up in the cards link for you guys, so you can check it out. But I have really been liking it. I really do like these brushes. They're really soft. They're way better than any of the ones that I bought off of Amazon just to try. So I really do enjoy these, of course. They are a little pricier than the ones that you'll find on Amazon or eBay, but of course, they're more affordable than the Artiste brushes for sure. I got the entire set for, I think, $81, but it's been on sale for $67 since, like, the day after I purchased them. So... Definitely check these out. They're super cute too. I just love the rose gold. Make a revolution in the rose gold. Gotta love it. So another thing that I have been loving, I revisited, revisited, if I can speak, I have revisited shadow shields. I purchased mine on Amazon. I've had these for quite a while and like I've started kind of cutting them up and creating smaller ones if I need to because I'm starting to run out, but I should just order more. It's not like they're that expensive, but I've just been really loving like a dramatic wing look and you probably have seen that in the last like three tutorials. So I'm sorry if you're sick of it, but I just have been loving them. It's really fun to create that edge. And if you have trouble creating wing liner, if wing liner doesn't show for you, these would be great because you can just kind of put it there and like create your wing. I did my wing liner that you can kind of see with just shadow today using one of these. Yeah, I think they were like $8 when I bought them. I'm not sure how much they are now, but you can just get them on Amazon. Definitely a fun little thing. You can just use tape if you want. Tape works fine. I just, I don't know. I just like these. I picked this guy back up when I was filming not the last first impression tutorial that just went out but the one before that I hadn't used it in a long time when I first got it honestly I wasn't super impressed with it I don't know what it was I think everyone just thought it was so amazing that I was kind of like when I used it I thought it was gonna be like mind-blowing and then I was kind of like eh I don't know especially when you're so fair skinned it's really hard to find a palette especially a contour palette where you can use multiple shades in it honestly the only one that I ever use is this one down here if I've like gone a little too gone a little too hard <laughs> on my contour. If my contour is a little crazy or if I messed up like on contouring my nose, I can, I usually will blend it out with like one of these guys, but I definitely don't set my under eyes with those because my, obviously they're like my skin tone or darker. So, and yellow or banana powders turn super yellow on me because when you're this fair, that's what happens. But I do really love this one. I'm glad to hear that she's doing the individual pans. I will probably, when I need to, just repurchase this one. I do like using this one a little bit, like very lightly at the back sometimes. So I will put that one on, like blend it out like a normal contour, and then put a little bit of that just in the back, just create a little more depth. Yeah, but I just, I just love how it blends out. I've been wearing literally just this and different highlighters on my cheeks. I'm wearing it right now. Let's see it. I'm glad that I finally am using it because I mean I bought it, you know. This guy, I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it, but I do really love it. And I used it, I think in the last video that just went up, the first impression tutorial. This is the Ultra Pro Glow from Makeup Revolution. I am obsessed with these two shades right here. These two are my favorites. I mean, I can wear most of them, surprisingly. I just have to use a light hand, but you know, I, I, I go hard when it comes to highlighter. So I swatched a few of these in the haul video that I did, but you can see they just have, they're super glowy, super beautiful. I just really make a revolution. Those crazy good highlighters. I like like this kind of highlight. I like a highlight personally, but this is definitely a beautiful palette. I like that it's not too dark or too light. So I feel like more people can use it, but they do have a deeper shade and a lighter shade so that if you are super fair or you are more deep skin, you do have an option. This pinky blush shade is really beautiful too. My hand stained. Are you shocked? It's always stained. I'm sorry, guys. I swatch. I need to like film an order of things that I'm swatching because I'll swatch lip products and those just stain my hand. So this is $18 on the Tam Beauty site. There. Now I swatched all of them. What's fun about doing the first impression tutorials is you find stuff that you really love. I have used this a little bit. Not. I'm not gonna lie and say I've used it a whole bunch, but I have used it a little bit, and I am absolutely obsessed with this shade right here, which I think is Giza. Giza. It's G I Z A. It is like the perfect lid shade, and it is so pigmented. This shadow will pick up with a flat brush the way another shadow will only pick up with your finger. Does that make sense? I always tap my lid shade on like 99.9% of the time because I love super intense color payoff. Look at that 
right there. You could use that as a highlight too. Oh, it's just beautiful. I didn't even mention exactly what palette this is. It's the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. Look at this thing. This thing is huge, by the way. I really like the other one. I also got the Nubian palette, which I love as well. And I used in that tutorial too. This one's just a little more colorful. Look at this orange. Look at this. Like the neutral half is just beautiful. I really love that there is a neutral half and then a brights half. Ooh, girl. They're just so good. They are so pigmented. So impressed. So impressed by these. And this wasn't even that, I think it was like $35 maybe. There you go. Look at those. I've been wearing this shade on my eyes too. I just love, I love berries and reds. I just love them. Really great palette. Really affordable for how much product you get. A crazy amount of product. So this is the, I just got the eyeshadow all over this. Anyway, this is the Viral Extreme Silver Color Wash. This comes in many different shades. This is by Celeb Luxury. I've seen this a lot on YouTube and Instagram and people have been raving about it. I have used it twice and I really do think it's made a difference. Like I really do think that it's keeping my hair silver. It smells amazing. What this is, if you don't know what a color wash is, it's actually a shampoo, but you just leave it in for a little longer. It's kind of like a purple shampoo where you leave that in so it tones your hair. This one you leave in so it deposits color. Obviously it's temporary, but with silver hair, it's really hard to maintain. And if you have pastel hair, it's really hard to maintain and they have all different colors in this. I definitely want to try the pink one at some point because you know I'll always go back to pink hair. I'm sure pink hair will be back at some point. So I definitely want to try that when the time comes. This was a little pricey. I believe you're supposed to have a license to purchase it. I purchased mine on Amazon for $27 roughly. Maybe it was $29. I don't know. They're all between $20 and $30 I believe on Amazon. But if you think about it, if you never have to really dye your hair and you're just washing your hair like normal, especially if you have silver hair, oh girl, that is so worth the price. At first I was hesitant. I was like, do I want to spend $30 on a shampoo? Yes. I just bought a bunch more hair dye to keep it up and I, I should have just stayed with this. Definitely a really cool product. Definitely check it out. Let's see. I'm going to mention a couple clothing things. You guys seem to really enjoy the clothing haul. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Oh my God. You guys, you could see how terrified I was. Anyone that really knows me in real life knows how real that beginning of the video was. They watched it and anyone that I actually really know in real life and knows knows me knows what a struggle it was for me and they could tell and it was, it's really, it's even hard to talk about it now. I don't know why. That video was just really hard for me to do and I'm so glad that I did. I've never had a video get so many thumbs up and comments in such a short amount of time. Crazy. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for being so supportive and I promise that there will now be more clothing hauls because there was such a warm, good response and you guys were so excited. So there definitely will be a couple of these things I'm going to mention clothes because why not? Um, in my favorites, you're not going to be surprised at all because it was like the two most loved things in that video besides all the black strappy tops. The orange sweater from Target. Yes, girl. But it's just by Mossimo. It was $24.99. It's, I don't even know what it's actually called. I tried to find it on the website. If any of you guys can find a link to this sweater, it's just like the grandpa sweater. It's got the pockets. Um, it's just in the junior section. It's not the plus size section, but I mean, they go up to 2X in the junior section. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm obsessed with this and I honestly, I want to wear it every day. I love the way it looks with my silver hair. I just, normally around this time of year, I have red hair almost every, every year, almost. I just like go back to red hair around this time of year, trying to hold strong. So normally I can't wear orangey shades or red shades around this time of year. So the fact that I like am able to wear this right now, all pumpkin, everything. This obsessed with this. Totally worth the $25. This is the jean jacket that was also in that clothing haul. Obviously, I'm a fan of denim right now. I'm loving it. I'm still living for this jacket. Again, this one runs runs pretty true to size. I ended up getting the 3X and I wish that I would have gotten a 2, maybe even a 1, just because I like my jackets a little more fitted. But it still definitely works. I'm just going to layer stuff under it. This way I can wear any sweater that I have underneath this. It's just a jean jacket that has a sweatshirt type hood and the sleeves are also sweatshirt material. So if you're like me and you have chubby arms, I don't have broad shoulders, but I have chubby arms. So it makes it a little awkward. Like some stuff doesn't really fit my arms. It'll fit everywhere else, but not my arms. So what's nice about this is had I gone down a couple sizes, a size or two just to make it more fitted I would have been fine because these sleeves are so stretchy which is nice it's hard to find a jacket that fits everywhere when you are chubby with extra chubby arms and I suppose if you had really tiny arms you would have the same the same issue but yes I just love this I got it on super sale when I bought it it should still be on the website if it is I'll try and link it down below it retails for $42.99 but I got it on like a 35% off and if you sign up for their newsletter you get 20% off so I ended up paying like 22 bucks for it personally. Yeah, super cute jacket. So again, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your support on that video and all of your support during the freedom voting. By the time you see this video, possibly the voting's over. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys. Thank you to everyone that voted. Thank you to everyone that gave me support. And I just love you guys so much. I can sit here and get super mushy, but I'm just going to end this here. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This is one of the oval precision... Oval precision, why can't I say that? Oval precision, I just do.
I don't know. <clears throat> I keep losing my voice. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it's fine. Bathe in it. Is that weird? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Dropping things in my lap. Oh my goodness. Girl, girl, girl. And, and, and that eggnog at. Eggnog is bad, but so good. $3. Holla.